So in the message, the Lord said, Nazi Germany and empire strikes again. So the first thing that uh, I did is to understand what happened around that time. And we do know that in 1945, World War II ended with what it is believed to be the death of Hitler and the end of the so-called Nazi empire. Now, upon further research and studies, it is actually well known and documented that some of the components or participants of that uh, Nazi Germany empire, in fact, relocated to uh, the most known, of course, is Argentina. Well, we're not going to speculate further than that, especially in this video. What we do see, however, is that right around the same exact time, I want you to notice this, please. So 1945, we know that Israel was born in 1948. And right around the same time, other organizations, which are listed here, and you can see them well, were born around the same exact time. And one of them, the WHO, was founded in the same year and the same month as Israel becoming a nation. Now, we already know and understand the 84-year pattern, and this goes from 1948 all the way to the end of all things. Please go and look at the latest calendars for a better understanding of the 84 years. But we know the 84 years very well. So 1948 to 2032, and we know that this is Luke 236 or Anna, which again is part of another teaching. But we are aware of the 84 years as the final hour. How do we know this? Again, if you go into the calendar series, you'll understand that the Lord talks about in John 11, 9, are in there 12 hours in one day. From that, we know from 2 Peter 3, verse 8, that the day is a thousand years. And in that particular verse, we know that two days are 2,000 years. And so the day being 12 hours and not 24 hours will give us 83.3 years when we divide 1,000 divided by 12, which will give us the hour, which is 83.3 years. Within those calendars, we're then able to know that the Lord is referring to the last hour, and that hour ends from 1948, sometimes around 2031. Now, we also have confirmed that 2 Peter 3 stands for 23 plus 8. It's also 31. But what's more, even more amazing is from 1945, when we count to 20, 29, or 30, we also have 84 years. And I'm going to refer you to Brother Jared's latest video because he also explains this pattern of 84 years in a very interesting way. So go and check the video as well. Now, what's amazing about that is that those 84 years land right around April 13, 29 to February 13, 30, which is our understanding from the Esther's calendar series revelation. That's when Haman, which represents the Antichrist, is killed. But who does Haman really represent ultimately, if not Hitler? So let's pause that for a second and take a look at what happens when we shift back 84 years from 1945, we land in 1861, which is the start of the American Civil War, and is right around the time when Darwin publishes his ideas about evolution. And 84 years back from that takes us to 1776, which happens to be the year of the Declaration of Independence of the United States. We also know the number 76 is very important. But it's also the year, the same exact year, when Adam Weishaupt founded the Illuminati. So when we look at it in context, we have three sets of 84 years. Let me put it here. When we look at the original division of the night, in the Old Testament, we know there were three watches, not four. 
going from sunset, the last bit of light, to sunrise when the light comes back. Meaning that there's a little bit of light in the beginning and then it shifts into darkness. And it's darkness all the way until the light comes back, which lines up with the end of the second set or last set, third set rather, of 84 years from 1945 to 2029 to 2030. So now we begin to understand that what we thought was ended in 1945 never really ended, somehow got transformed or transmuted into a different type of operation which has been already running the show and organizing itself to surface right around this time for its final chapter. So what the Lord is really teaching us is that that one hour represents 83.3 years on the macro scale, meaning that its overall perimeter is 83.3 years, which really start around the same exact time as Israel becoming a nation. Well, if we go to Revelation 17, 12, it says, and the ten horns, which you saw, are ten kings, which have received no kingdom of yet, no kingdom of yet, but received power as kings for one hour with the beast. What does it mean? They're receiving power for 83.3 years, not as kings yet, with the beast system for one hour. What hour? The 83.3 years. So look at this. 1776. What is that? 17. And 7 plus 6 is 13. So Revelation 17, 13 says, These have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. That's a good representation. Might not be the exact model, but very similar. So look at this. 1861. That's Revelation 18. 6 plus 1 is 7. And Revelation 18, 7 says, how much she has glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she said in her heart, I sit as a queen, and I am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. And here we go. Revelation 19.20. What is that? It's 4 times 5. 1945. What does Revelation 19.20 say? And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet. that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that received the mark of the beast. And then they worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone. And the last one, 2029 to 2030, is Revelation 20, verses 2 to 9, and verse 10. We're just going to look at verse 9 and 10, which says, And they went up on the breath of the earth, and compassed the camp of the saints about, and the beloved city. And fire came down from God out of heaven, and devoured them. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. This is an incredible teaching. And the Lord is showing us the deception has been always there. And it's what we are told that this group organization or thing was destroyed and gone, but it's not. It was simply hidden and recycled and reorganized. And you can do your own research to understand what I just said. And he's getting ready and has been ready to strike again and to strike through what we know is going to be the Great Tribulation. This is not a time for the bait. I'm going to continue to repeat this. For those of you who are interested in that, this is not the right place. 
This is a time for love, for helping one another through prayer, support, and intercession. You have to go back to ministry to choose to spend your time seeking those who are lost and do not know the gospel, do not understand what the consequences are of not knowing the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Again, I'm not here on my own merit, but out of obedience to the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm here to send you back to the Bible, not to follow me or a man you're, or a woman. You're here to go to the Bible yourself because the Lord will pour and is pouring his spirit upon all flesh and he's calling all people and his children to return to him and to spend time in prayer, fasting and reading the word of God for yourself. Now, if you're not reading the word of God, not only you're missing out on understanding, but you're not able to draw nearer to the Lord. So do not let be deceived because the word of God will not be there forever. And we know this from scripture. I have a lot happening in my life as all of you as well, but I do my best to continue to produce these videos as the Lord and the Holy Spirit lead me to it. And I do my best to take my opinion out of the picture. We also have a Zoom group, which I established for people who want additional time to understand these concepts and ideas and for fellowship. So if you're interested in that, please send me an email. The email is in the bio description of the channel and I will add you to the list. I hope this blessed you. In Jesus name. Amen.